Okay, uh, hey everybody. So I'm joined here by Diane, um, who has completed a six week uh, transformation challenge. Um, so before we hear how you actually got on, um, can you take me back to how you felt beforehand, maybe what you've tried in the past, any frustrations you had, etc. Okay, um, I had put so much weight on, just was stuck in an absolute rut of work, home, no time for myself. Um, just having kids, you always sort of put your kids first and think, well, I can't go and do, can go to the gym because they need to go to their dancing or they need to do this. So you sort of spend your life working and taxiing them about and just putting your own needs to the to the side. Okay. Always getting dumped to the bottom. So I'd put so much weight on, none of my clothes fitted me and then none of the next size of clothes fitted me. Um, started feeling really unfit and whenever the kids, whenever I was off, it's a day off, the youngest one in particular was like, Mum, Mum, what, what fun things can we do today? And I go, like, oh, really? <laughs> um, just had no motivation, no energy to do anything. Okay. And how, how's this, how's coming here compared to what you've maybe expected or what you've tried in the past? Well, I've had gym memberships in the past and you go for a month, you're really motivated and you try and fit around it and then you pay for the next 11, 12 months and don't go. Right. You know, once you sort of get into a pattern of missing it or having an illness and not getting, then it's just never really found the motivation to go back. Right. Um, coming here, I expected it to be a bit more um, supportive and um, but it's been it's been way above what I've expected. Right. Um, the everybody that's here, all the members, love it. Um, they're so welcoming for the day one, no matter where you're starting. Yeah. Um, your fitness levels, they're encouraging you. Um, the all the all the coaches are just really supportive, making sure that you're doing everything correctly. Yeah. Um, because I think when you're unfit and you know get a lot of strength, it's really easy to do exercises badly and injure yourself. Yeah. Whereas that doesn't seem to happen here because there's always somebody picking up or giving you an alternative to do yeah. it. Cool. Um, you see loads of members here that have had injuries or are coming back from operations. And before, I would have kind of thought, well, I can't go to the gym because I need to recover or I've got an injury. Yeah. Whereas people are showing different Ways. Exercise and ways to yep. work around and still keep their fitness up yep. and recover from cool. what they've been through. So it's just really motivating and it's good fun. Good, cool. And uh, so during the, the six weeks, like, can you remember what you've actually lost in terms of weight or body fat percentage wise? Yeah, I've lost 6% body fat um, and uh, 13 pounds cool. in weight, yep. but a massive difference in. What I feel and my energy levels. I think the first thing I noticed uh, when you sent me your pictures and, uh, and then when I checked your centimetre loss was uh, 14 centimetres from around your waist and you can Massive. see that mm -hmm. difference. Yeah, I didn't really expect to see it in the photos because yeah. I think a stone when you've got that much to lose doesn't really seem a lot yeah. but then when I saw the photos I was like oh. That's pretty cool. <laughs> yeah. So what's, what's like I guess like it's still relatively early days but like what's mm -hmm. been the biggest impact for you on your day-to-day -day life now or what you kind of feel you can do or feel motivated to do or anything mm -hmm. like that was um, what's well, better? Whenever I'm off I'm wanting to do stuff right. um, I've got a completely different it's not oh I'm off so I'll just chill out yeah. um, like I'm getting out with the kids we've like started cycling again um, just going out getting outdoors yeah. getting a lot more fresh air cool. um, and just a lot more fun like rather than taking the kids to the cinema and spend time with them yeah. we'll go down the beach and run about or um, go out a cycle or you know cool. completely different so more get up and go more get up and go and just for me it was more about making sure i'm installing healthy habits in my kids right. and setting a good example yeah, so that they don't see what i'm doing and yeah. copy or so they do see what i'm Aye. doing copy yeah. it for the, the right yeah. reasons yeah cool so cool. Good, well, I think you're well on track to doing that. It must be a bit inspired by mum. Hopefully. Right, cool, mm -hmm. well done, keep I up. will say one thing my husband yeah. had said to me um, just the other day. He's like, I'm really proud of you, you've worked really hard. And I was like, no, I haven't. 
it's been so easy. I haven't worked hard at all. It's right. just, do you know, once you're given the right natural. tools, uh -huh, it's, been, it's been a doddle. So Good. It's there really you go, easy. everybody. A doddle. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, I think the, just what you said there, being given the right tools, the right motivation, probably being, uh, being in the right environment mm -hmm. as well can make a big difference to people. Definitely. Cool.